Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Tuesday, May 29th, 11.50 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. We're doing a quick rundown on what's happening up in Washington State. There is a flurry of activity, namely seismic activity, in the Cascadia subduction zone. And this is an ongoing event where there are thousands of quakes, and they're migrating slowly south. Uh, we'll be talking about this shortly, and we'll be leaving you links to it. But let's get on with the update right now. We'll come over to Kilauea, and you can see one micron particulates emanating off the island in the form of volcanic ash. Dust, SO4, and other pollutants. And these are becoming pervasive in the weather pattern. And they're extending all the way into the South Pacific towards Micronesia. And you're looking at the Null School version. Uh, this is a model which is based on satellite data which is showing us a hypothetical of where that pollutant is going. And it is, in fact, headed towards Micronesia. We'll be talking about it. They're talking about it in the, in the news. Two journalists killed covering subtropical storm Alberto. I'm sure you heard they got crushed to death moments after they just made a phone call into the radio station or to the television station. They told everyone to be safe, and then they got crushed. That's why I'm in my barn. Send a prayer up to him. Maryland flooding is a warning, guys. Climate change is hitting America as rain, and we're making it worse. It's your fault that everyone's flooding. It's your fault that this is happening, guys. Pay your taxes. Not. <laughs> it's stratospheric radiation in the form of cosmic rays, galactic cosmic rays, coming from the universe, not coming from you. I assure you, this has been happening for time immemorial. Here you can see little spikes and troughs. Each of these troughs represents high cosmic ray flux. High cosmic ray flux equals cloud nucleation and cooling on the planet. It resulted in the Little Ice Age. It resulted in the end of the Romans. The end of the Minoans. And the end of the Vikings. Stratic, stratospheric radiation in the form of galactic cosmic rays has been increasing exponentially and it is going to be at unprecedented levels. As the solar trend weakens, cosmic rays increase. And we're dropping off a cliff, guys. I'll leave you links to this. More evidence of an increase in cosmic rays as sun approaches minimum. It's the entire paper. You better read it. Hailstorm moves through the plaza at Brookside, causing hundreds of power outages. A hailstorm that moved through Kansas City dumped hail on the plaza in Brookside and other locations Tuesday afternoon. Yes, it did. And we'll be talking about it. <laughs> Damaging hail falls e in East Wichita. Wichita. The wind was whipping so bad, I was standing in the doorway and I couldn't see the street because of the hail. Storm produces baseball size hail near Eric. This is in Oklahoma. This is all happening today, kids, in North America. This happened yesterday. This was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Their son took this. Oh, dear. We've lost it. <laughs> It is, in fact, a water spout which turned into a tornado in the Carlin District of Nevada yesterday. Very rare event. Fourteen tornadoes hit Colorado in less than two hours on Monday. The numbers are in. A total of 14 tornadoes hit Colorado in less than two hours on Monday afternoon. Seven in Washington County, three in Kit Carson, two in Morgan, two in Weld, according to preliminary data. None on this side of the divide. <laughs> Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Did you know that 10 inches of hail fell in Waverly during the centennial minimum? Well, if you come check out this link, you will. 
Back in 1927, a terrible hail and windstorm hit Waverly, Tennessee. Trees, houses, and power lines, telephone lines, crops, and all kinds of property were damaged by the wind and hail. Trees 30 inches across were uprooted. Plate grass windows. <laughs> Did you read that? Plate grass. They were using grass as windows back in 1927. They were smashed. Hail piled up 10 inches in the streets. 600 frying-sized chickens were pummeled to death. The fish in the town creek were killed. Some trout weighing as much as two pounds were totally pummeled by the hail. Have you ever heard of hail killing fish in a river? You will soon. We're going to be watching it live. And we'll be covering it. Hail in Windpound, Iowa, town of Shelby. They turned Montana sideways. Heads up. Severe weather darted across the 6 News viewing area Tuesday. Straight line winds in the Iowa town of Shelby left its mark. The wind forced the semi off I-80 near Shelby and turned this Montana and went and then there was a boom. Just like that. Bam! Where's my boom? Oh. Bada bing, bada boom. Extensive hail damage. Pumalanga. Farmers in Pumalanga, Onderberg region are still assessing the damage after the devastating hail hit Malane, Komataport, and the southern part of Kruger National Park on Sunday. Now check this out. Sunday's hailstorm damaged vast areas of sugarcane, banana, citrus, and mango plantations. It was an extraordinary event, but I would be very hesitant to ascribe it to global warming, said Devell. Al, are you listening? The public doesn't even believe your nonsense. Iran's pistachio production likely to decline by 30%. Why do you think that is? The expected decrease is due to extreme cold. <laughs> Al! Lightning and hailstorms claimed 45 lives across India today. Death toll rises to 250. Ugh. 10,000 homes damaged after M5.7 earthquake is downgraded to 5.1 by the USGS, and they don't even mention it in American media. Let's talk about the Western Washington experience, deep tremor event you can't feel. Tremors that started May 8th are expected to continue into June. The earth under western Washington has been working overtime in May. The Pacific Northwest Seismic Network reports that episodic tremor and slow slip events started on May 8th and is still underway. Yes. The map below is a snapshot of the first 10 days of activity color-coded chronologically. The red dots show the most recent activity, which shows a, sh a southern progression. This is the... May 15th or May 19th, day 10 of the event. We're talking thousands of tremors, folks. Long overdue for a 7.5 or greater or a 9.0 or greater is also on the list there. Luckily, we have a seismic outlook in the quiescent uh, version. It's quite nice. No quakes of note except this singular quake above 2.5 in the U.S. in the last 24 hours. A 3.3, <laughs> yes, it's Soda Springs, Idaho. Heads up, Yellowstone. Health alerts have been issued as hazardous VOG from Kilauea spreads through Micronesia. We showed you the null school model. Hazy it was. And it is spreading into Manjuro, Kilawading, Rotran, Popeye, and Chuk, and other islands, Guam, Sapan, and other things that have lots of consonants and verbs that we don't usually pronounce that way. Hawaiian Volcano Observatory status report here, May 29th. Vigorous eruptions of lava continue from the eastern rift zone, Fisher. We were demonetized in yesterday's update because we used someone else's footage from the second floor. And they can totally bite it because they blow. We're a news program. We got you thousands of links and you're sucking us dry. Go away. Kilauea Volcano Summit. Ash continue to erupt intermittently. And that VOG is moving into Micronesia. There is no sign of this letting up. I'll leave you links to all this. If you live in that region, 
you have brain damage. This breakthrough drug could prevent brain damage caused by cosmic rays, not by volcanoes erupting in Hawaii, however. This is a breakthrough drug here. NASA and private space companies like SpaceX plan to send humans to Mars, which is impossible because of the cosmic radiation. But if you take this drug, you just might make it and then die a horrible death as you bleed out internally. I will leave you links to this article and the papers that erodes the suspicion that a drug might be used in this fashion. Two very technical papers. Colony stimulating factor one receptor inhibition prevents microglial plaque association improves cognition 3XTG80 mice. I don't know what that has to do with humans, but it improves Alzheimer's in mice. Yes, elimination of microglia improves cognitive function following cranial irradiation. So they purposely irradiated the brains of tiny mice because they're totally sick in the head. Guys, this is not going to do anything for anyone. Um, so it's nonsense. We're not going to Mars. This is more nonsense. Two audacious plans for saving the world's ice sheets. They're not going anywhere, kids. So why are we saving them? And if they do go away, it's part of a natural climate cycle and they're supposed to. Oh, puppies. Now, scientists say giant walls and cooling tunnels may be the best way to save polar ice, or perhaps the grand, grand solar minimum will do it. Did they look at any of the ice cores? I mean, in the 80s, we started getting these out of the ground and this data is available to the public now, every single inch of them. And we're quite certain when we look at the GISP2 data that there is a natural variability to climate in a 1,000-year cycle, a deadly one that ends empires, like the one that's ending right now, this week. <laughs> you are here at the end of the empire. And the one that ended when the Vikings went off and the Romans died off and the Minoans died off. You are currently alive in the end of this empire. It's just going to happen in a few years. <laughs> Kids, you better start preparing because the nonsense is getting thick. Let's check out some nonsense. Peer-reviewed paper, it's okay to lie about climate. This is Professor Hong and Zhao. Now, these professors find that information manipulation has an instrumental value. In fact, they have an entire climate. <laughs> they have an entire journal dedicated to manipulated instrument, instrumental value. Now, what they claim is it's an ex post induces more countries to participate in international environmental agreements. So, in conclusion... It's okay to lie about the climate so that more countries participate in global tax scams. Someone kill these people. Let's talk about some truth. And those people that should survive, they will be reading this paper by Theodore Landscheidt, which the current minimum we are entering into, many people are petitioning for it to be named the Landscheidt Minimum instead of the Eddy Minimum. Who cares what it's called? It's called the end of the empire. It's called the SHTF <laughs> event is about to happen. It's going to happen in the next two years, starting with the financials, add in the crop loss and inflation, and you're talking seven, eight billion people are going to go crazy and if you're near groups of them, oh, oh, I'll be praying for you. Now, a new little ice age instead of global warming by Dr. Theodore Lanshai came out in 2002. It's hard to get your hands on, but I'm going to share it with you. And I need you to share it with everyone. This is where it began. Coming straight from Germany. Analysis of the sun's varying activity in the last two millennium indicates that we're 
and that no fossil fuel burning is ever going to save us. It's only going to make the forests greener. <laughs> because as galactic cosmic rays increase cloud cover, the planet rapidly cools. And as volcanoes continue to erupt in epic fashion, the planet cools even quicker. But before that, why we're preparing is because of global unrest and famine, which is going to happen in the very short term. So please, kids, start buying your rice and beans and watch the other 536 videos I made on this topic. Tomorrow night, we're going to have a great guest on our radio program, Lawrence Pierce. One of British Columbia's leading trial lawyers, now retired, has assembled all the evidence to convince even the most devout global warming alarmist to shut the f*** up. All you have to do is look at the facts. The past is the key to the future, and any good scientist can see what is about to happen. If they're telling you any different, then they have financial interests and a family they're trying to protect. They're not trying to protect the truth. They're trying to protect their ass. And that is a boom. Which will you take? Will you join us on the journey? If you want to stay comfortable, you can eat the blue pill. Turn back on your Netflix and unsubscribe to the channel. If you want to start preparing to survive and thrive in the future, you can take the red pill. Watch every single update that we put out. They come out once a day. They've been coming out for the last year every single day. I will, I will not let you down. It is my mission to tell you the truth. The choice is yours. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance once you take the red pill. Be safe, everyone.